He had a huge personality. Bigger than yours? <laughs> I'm the quiet one in my family. That laugh is probably what you've grown to love most about Steve Villanueva. But behind the smile and laughter is a deep story of loss. We shared a bedroom till I was 25 years old. <laughs> So we were very close. We had bunk beds for you know most of our childhood. My brother was born July 4th, uh, 1968 in Argentina. Uh, moved to the States when he was two years old. We were very close, all three of us, my sister included. The South Tower from the 69th to the 71st floor, and that's the tower that he was in when it came down. He was Sergio Gabriel Villanueva, Steve's older brother. He's towards the end over here. So Villanueva, there's, there he is right there, Sergio Villanueva. And they have the fireman shield. A heroic firefighter who lost his life when he rushed into the South Tower to try to save lives on 9-11 some 20 years ago. I'm trying to figure out what my emotional state will be when I'm down there. You know, when I'm at the at the World Trade Center site, on my way to work today, I was trying to figure out how this conversation was going to go, and you know, just got emotional in the car, you know, getting teary-eyed. So I, I can feel it starting to come on. That day, 20 years ago, is it still fresh in your mind? Yes, very. I called my mom, and I'm like, "He's fine. Don't worry about it. He's in Brooklyn." Don't, you know, don't, don't, don't get all upset right now. And then later that evening, you know, I, I, that's when I found out that he was. It's okay, Steve. That he was unaccounted for. At that point in time, they had a list of the 343 people that were missing. And when my mother told me, it's like, my body just, just completely just like went to jello and I just collapsed on the floor and just started sobbing and sobbing and sobbing. Shortly after, the Villanuevas were given false hope. And they were like, your brother's not on the list. He's accounted for. But it turns out. But his name was under the clip. Eventually, we figured out that they ran into the South Tower. So they didn't get high up into the building. They were somewhere in the, like, somewhere in the teens or the 20th floor. So that's where they were when, when the tower collapsed. They all went in there to try to help as many people get out of the buildings as possible. Sergio was engaged at the time. Right after 9-11, they were supposed to get married. She's still family. Steve reflects on life, a series of twists and turns, he calls it, on a photograph taken decades ago. My mom and my brother, who's tiny, maybe two years old at the time, with the World Trade Center going up. So it was all steel and beams while it was actually being constructed. And my mother, who was new to America, you know, just got here. Now standing in front of that very same steel at a memorial in Wellington, more than a thousand miles from New York, Sergio's mother, fiance, sister, brother, and their families all moved to Florida. <laughs> Your life changes so much when something like this happens. I mean, because if he were alive, who knows where I'd be today? But because, because he passed away, I moved back to New York right away. I met Noel, married Noel, moved to Florida. The one thing that, 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 that hurts the most is that the kids don't know. You know, my kids, my sister's kids. Steve holds tight to his brother's fire nozzle, cigar box, police hat. He was a police officer and detective for 10 years before becoming a firefighter just a year before 9-11. Do you ever try to imagine what he would be like at this age? I do, a lot. <laughs> it's funny you bring that up because, you know, it's 20 years later and I, and I always try to figure, what would he be like at 53? To see his brother, Steve has photographs, but truly, he only has to look to his boys. My youngest son, remind me of my brother. I feel like they're the same person. Really? The older one too, but it's, it's how he sits while he reads. I mean, he had a huge personality. He's a very funny guy, very charming, very outgoing. Everybody loved him. You know, what came out of it was that he will be remembered forever.